Yeah, hello and welcome to this video. I already have the lights on, but it's still a little bit dark here. Yeah, it's uh, getting darker late in the day here. Let's see what happens. Pritza Pidulas is the opponent. That's a long name. And we got the have fun. H3. I've gotten this only today and so in a band of blitz. That's a funny move. I really I played H5 in that in that game, which feels weird. <laughs> if I just go d5, I mean how bad can that be? Just grabbing the center. This is a perfectly normal position with colors reversed and in this case what does h6 do? Hey, it's probably it does make some sense securing the king side a little bit yeah, with colors reversed, I think white um, castles. But yeah, I probably, I probably have to do it here as well. Bishop d7 is extremely lame. Nah, that's too lame. So I have to give it, give give him that pawn. But the question is, how do I, do I really have enough compensation? I think with colors reversed and the uh, h-pawn on h7, the idea knight to g5 is an idea, really. That's a, the idea is an idea, yeah. Um, this idea is a serious, um, a serious option, and they don't have that now. Still a little bit surprised that he invests time. I mean, he has to grab on c6. I take e5 otherwise, so. Maybe he's considering how to take, but bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, makes a really strange impression. I mean, knight, knight takes c6, b takes, bishop takes, rook b8. Must be the must be right. At least it looks uh, looks correct. Yeah. A bit surprised here. Because I thought what he is doing, he just plays a uh, reversed Owen's defense with this extra move and it looked like he has prepared this idea in a way I mean not not particularly for this game but it felt like something uh, that he was aiming for it's a bit surprising that he invests time now So, I mean, he, he basically has to do that. Um, here you can actually make an argument for bishop e2, not grabbing. Okay, so bishop to a6 is probably too strong a medicine. Here it's interesting, if he castles in this, in this position without the h-pawn, I would be really able to sacrifice on h2, the classic, the classic sacrifice. Really? He, 
Hmm. It's, it's a surprising move that he will actually attack. He's, he's attacking d5, but he is allowing bishop to a6. <laughs> H3, I trust to Barbara, yeah, so. Seems that uh, that was an idea of the Georgian Grandmaster. Sorry, <laughs> been a long day. Yeah, bishop a6 is so interesting. Bishop takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen g5 is just excellent for black. Probably winning for black. Knight d5, that is something else. Bishop a6, knight takes d5, knight takes, bishop takes. Yeah, it seems like I don't have anything there. Bishop b4, c3, and no good continuation. Hmm. Yeah, I, I try to find something uh, a bit more forcing. I actually believe that I have a very decent compensation almost no matter what I play, but um, I'm not quite sure how to do it, how to play it uh, in the best possible way. If I get him to castle, I mean, even, even knight g4 is an option. Rook b6, it's really, really weird that knight takes d5 should work. But it seems to work. Knight takes, bishop takes. There is nothing good there. I mean, it looks terrible, actually, I think, for white, but there's nothing on queen g5 bishop takes e4 and somehow white holds okay rook e8 rook e8 i mean i have enormously active piece play but It's probably not enough here. Yeah, I'm down three pawns. Three 
three pawns is really really a lot hmm I wonder, like bishop e6, he goes knight b5 is the problem. And I definitely don't want to give him my king's bishop. That would be, that would be weird. But that's an irritating move anyway. Okay, and bishop a6, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, queen g5, bishop e4, rook e8. Is that working? Queen f3, probably. Then bishop a3, check. I got a really active position. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> At the end, I cannot resist. Yeah, white right now, I think he has to take almost. Um, I cannot believe that he's, can, he can play a, play a slow move. So knight d5. Knight d5, bishop d5, queen g5, bishop e4, rook e8, queen f3, check on a5, c3, bishop a3. This is the line, long line, wrong line. <laughs> but I don't see why it shouldn't work. Does he have any other move actually than taking? <clears throat> Take with the bishop doesn't really do much. Just knight takes, knight takes and queen g5. So much for he has to grab the pawn. Mm. Okay, so he cannot castle. Um, bishop b4, bishop b5 is the idea. any other way to prevent this this bishop b5 move hmm yeah probably not probably not Okay, after bishop b5, I mean, I can, bishop b4, for example, bishop b5, I can win the pawn back. Hmm. It is somewhat uninspiring, though. And he is able to castle. Bishop b uh, bishop b4 bishop b5 I can take with the rook rook takes pawn takes bishop takes 
that is uh, keeping him uncastled for quite a while. But it's also a bunch of a bunch of material. It's interesting. Okay, let's start with this move. Yeah, bishop b5, so I can just regain the pawn or sack the exchange. I just recognize that he can actually take a7 at the end, which is probably good. Probably just good. Hmm, nah, that's, that's the pain. That's not good. Hmm. I cannot sack the exchange. Unfortunately. That's, that's really not good. What do I play? I can, I can drop it back and just claim I have a I have compensation, which is not entirely untrue, probably. But uh, it's not ideal. Where do I go? C8? Um, probably to C8. Yeah, probably your castle. I can go C6 here and push him back. I don't know if it helps. The rook on the six would be cool if I could get that in. But I think I just do this. He cannot take because I capture c3 and play queen c7. That attacks both bishops on the c file. So he has to go bishop e2. And then I have to drum up an attack somehow which is possible i mean it's a fairly active uh, setup for me but how exactly bishop e6 for queen d7 i really don't understand the time management here i mean he has to go back to e2 anyway So, yeah, question is, shall I try to play for that sacrifice? Just, just develop. Um, I'll try that, try the developing way. I like the B-pawn, but this is currently not a big thing. Thank you. 
as white has uh, little play against my center there's no c4 and so on he can play knight a2 and then try c4 but that's extremely slow and it would blunder c4 at the moment due to the rook being on the b file so knight a2 bishop b6 c4 i can just take so he wants to play bishop a3 in this position <laughs> okay so I have to move the queen anyway, so now I'm threatening bishop h3. That That's dangerous. Bishop to a3, now I can take the knight, so that doesn't work. And bishop takes h3, how does he actually prevent that? Move the rook. It's still immensely dangerous. Yeah, with all those pieces, b2 and the knight, it's hard to believe that this, this wouldn't work. It must be at least enough for a draw, which taking in a, into account the time situation, I would probably not hate to play a draw. Or maybe he plays f4. Hmm. f4, bishop takes h3 is probably not enough. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, rook f2. So maybe the f pawn move makes some sense here. Yeah, so he plays it. Um, huh. Yeah, taking taking uh, again doesn't doesn't do much on H three. I mean, yeah, taking activates him. Yeah, all of a sudden, white's pieces actually are active. Yeah, what, what kind of crap is that? <laughs> uh, he plays all those strange moves, queen c1 and whatever, and then miraculously, like f4 works as e3 is covered and so on. <laughs> what a strange game sometimes. Yeah, no, white is active. Don't even have bishop f5. Hm. What a strange game. What a strange, strange game. Okay, so try and bishop to c7 for queen d6. Yeah, probably I shouldn't take and play that close position.
I'm not sure that I'm threatening anything. Even knight f4 is probably okay. Maybe I should have played knight to e4. Yeah, anyway, that is almost certainly my next move. Standard move. Putting it in onto a completely empty diagonal while I'm attacking. Surprising. Okay, so taking on H three is probably not working yet. I I need I need a rook here rook on the second on the sixth rank but my knight f four is the problem yeah okay let's gain a bit more space still not so easy to convert the pawn. I mean, there's still lots of things going on. I mean, it's very cool about it, yeah? Playing bishop a3, bishop c5. I don't quite know how to do this. I probably have to prevent the knight move. And now rook f1, and the bishop here is very strong, covering f8. So I cannot get the rook over. And even rook takes f5 comes into consideration. to actually to do much here I was thinking Queen g7 but then he can he can actually sacrifice on f5 h4 Wow you open the h file for me yes or does he take like g3 rook h2 yeah playing Fantastic stuff. Does that work? Down on 30 seconds here. Yeah. And I cannot move my pieces normally. Can I go queen to f7 and then bring it? Over to the king side. Queen f7. Uh, maybe you can t uh, take g4. This shouldn't work. Right? That's, that's a bit fantastic. The move king g7. There's d5 potentially. Maybe just place g4, like 
completely unfazed by everything. No. It, it continues. It's still not so easy for him to play. He's got a couple of weaknesses still. And I'm catching up on time a little bit. The move that I have on the radar is F4 in the right moment. But um, it doesn't work yet. Doesn't work yet. And mm. uh, d5, bishop d4 is okay. I can take with the G pawn. I, I was thinking that was that was terrible. Now I was just losing my nerves there with no time on the clock. I can just now I cannot just take sh2 is hanging it's still not super easy even though 16 seconds is really really tough to handle nah damn it yes of course, failing to some stupid trick with no time. Damn it. Uh, man. Takes with the knight. Yeah, whatever. I'm checkmated. <laughs> what a strange game. Yeah, so let's have a look there. Yeah, I mean, the main issue was probably me burning so much time in the opening. And uh, that time obviously lacked at the end. Yeah, it was really, really difficult. So in the opening, I mean, yeah. It's really not my gels. I mean, sacrificing this is kind of normal. Maybe it's not the only thing to do, but... Okay, so... Knight c3. Bishop a6 and then a4. Yeah, I was... It, it took a long time to this, 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 and I wanted to play queen g5. What's my plan? I just want to check what I planned. Queen f3, and then I was thinking check, c3, bishop a3. Yeah, that, that line is actually correct. But king d1 is assessed as winning by the engine. Yeah, well, I mean, I've sacrificed a ton of pawns, but... Okay, he played a4. Bishop b4, bishop b5. Now I cannot take as a7 is hanging. So I cannot just like get it back as a7 is taken. This is why I played bishop c8. I mean, I still have good compensation. Bishop e2. 
And now I mean this queen to c1. That, that 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 this kind of things really upset me. That this kind of, this move is somehow good. <laughs> yeah, I know it's such a weird move. Queen d7, and now everything's perfect for f4. Remarkable. Maybe bishop f5 now and not this rook e8. Bishop d3 helped him. I mean, the position still is reasonably difficult. And uh, I don't know. The, the main issue is I have no time here. The position I'm not sure about. I mean. H4 is, uh, is, is, is a bit of a shocker. Yeah. F4 seems to be good, or at least uh, an option. But at the time I had to play really quickly. But it's so this and what? Bishop F5. Yeah, I'm threatening this move. And now I'm, I can take on H4. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't have time for that, so white went c4. Yeah, that was a really remarkable move. Queen f7, takes, takes, g3. Now, my main issue was f4. I mean, the position was, was worse, but somehow I got, I lost my nerve there with f4. I just have to continue. G3. Yeah, I didn't. I only looked at knight takes e4, not knight h5. But um, it is objectively lost already. Yeah, knight g7 is is really a weird move. Who is not taking with the rook? Maybe someone who sees that knight g7 is made in nine and rook g7 is only made in fourteen. Anyway, at the end, I'm checkmated here. Huh, tough game. This h3 is uh, apparently a new idea. I mean, it, it can never be an advantage for white, quite clearly, but um, interesting. So here the engine wants to castle or take. Yeah, I mean, of course, white can uh, or black black can always play something conservative, but I wanted to play more actively. Yeah, it was a tough game. Thanks for watching.